Five days together and a lifetime of memories. First responders from all over Lorain County shed their badges and patches for a week to give dozens of young men a slice of normalcy and a little fun too. This week is way bigger than, than anyone really you know, understands. Today wrapped up a week-long summer camp hosted by a nonprofit called Operation Open Heart, which pairs Lorain County first responders with kids involved in the child welfare system. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg explains sometimes it's really hard to tell whom is helping whom the most. There's something special is what's going on this week. Try as you might to avoid it. Team challenge! The world will always find a way to push. Blue team, you ready? Yeah! Or pull you. Go! In one direction. Yeah! Or the other. Yeah! And sometimes it's easy to see the label. Yeah! And it's harder to see the person. This is a week where it, it truly changes everyone's life because they are just boys. Grab one and go. And their lives are so much more than just whatever, you know, labels society put on them. One week a year, Ray Santiago will gladly trade his title of sergeant for the title of camp counselor. Red two, blue two, opposite side. Operation Open Hearts summer camp has a way of revealing what matters most. Everyone that you see here is putting in vacation leave, taking personal time. Uh, we're away from our families and our, and our jobs. So we're here purely voluntarily. Founded 60 years ago by a patrolman that was a foster child himself, Operation Open Heart brings together first responders and those in the child welfare system. The five-day camp helps them to put aside the past in favor of the present and putting one foot oh, they're moving. in front of the other. This week, 100% is about exposing them to places and experiences that they may not get in their daily lives. Wherever I work, they know that this is Operation Open Heart Week, and I dedicate 100% to being out here with the kids. The son of an orphan, A.J. Torres, has been involved in the nonprofit for 30 years. It's weeks like these Go. that keep him coming back. It meant something to them. And so that's what we're trying to do here for the kids of Lorain County. Pastor, pastor. It's just about letting them forget about whatever their situations are um, for just a week and just be boys. And they allow us to forget about all of our stresses and just be men. The world will push Go. and it will pull. Sometimes it's hard to lose traction yeah. of what's most important, seeing each other for who we really are and not the labels that we carry. I don't think the boys realize how much of a help you know, they are to us as much as we are to them. Red's moving! In Vermilion. It's just good for the soul. Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. My gosh, I love that. You can tell how much those boys and those kids are enjoying that program. They were having a great time, and it is a great evening to be out there.